Hello everybody, I'm Justin Ross with Fluke Biomedical and I'm here with two of our devices. One you might be more familiar with, our Fluke Biomedical Impulse 7000 Defibrillator Analyzer. And this one maybe not so familiar with, our Fluke Biomedical 7010 Load Box. So we all familiar with what this is, it's for testing defibrillator and it uses a standard 50 ohm load across the inputs. But not every patient has 50 ohms across their chest and that's called transthoracic impedance. It's the major resistance across the patient's chest. For the longest time we assumed that every patient was a 160 pound middle aged male patient. I'm here to tell you I am not a 160 pound male patient. I'm a 245 pound hairy woolly mammoth. So I guarantee you I do not have 50 ohms across this here chest. And patients could range anywhere as we know from newborns the whole way up through the elderly from you know itty bitty little babies the whole way up through bigger patients dry skin all these other conditions need to be taken into account when we measure the resistance across the patient's chest so we have to assume that the defibrillator is going to discharge at the same joule output every time so if you set it at 50 for a baby you should get 50 joules on a baby just as much as you should get 50 joules on the other end of the spectrum so how do we simulate it? How do we make sure it's gonna do that? Well, you're gonna to have to use a 7010 load box that has all the variable loads in it, ranging from 25 up to 200 ohms. That's going to allow us to vary the load simulations across the patient's chest and make sure that that defibrillator is outputting as it should. Hey, I want you to check back in here. We're gonna have some more videos where we're gonna talk more about what this transthoracic impedance is, where you can find it in your manuals, and just how to set this up and perform that test. Thank you very much and I look forward to talking to you in the next video.